Up in the Bear Mountain area where I do most of my camping, uh, there's one water parasite that you have to worry about the most. It's called Guardia, and it basically can give you food poisoning-like symptoms for apparently a few weeks. So you really don't want to get that. Um, now there's a number of ways to purify water. There's filters, there's SteriPens, there's filter pumps, and uh, chemical treatments. There are two main chemical treatments to use, chlorine and iodine. I actually use iodine because I've heard that iodine kills Guardia better than chlorine does, and up where I go camping and hiking, uh, Guardia is more of a problem. I also add one extra tablet, so instead of two, I use three tablets of iodine per liter, and the reason why is just because I'd rather overdo the iodine than chance getting Guardia, because I met a guy that had it, and it didn't sound pretty. They say that the water should be warm, uh, roughly 70 degrees for these things to be most effective, so, you know, in certain situations, I'll, I'll put the water in my jacket with me as I hike and that warm it up or if I'm at a campsite I'll sit on it you know put it between your legs or something like that uh, I just happen to have a fire that was going out so I put the bottle on the fire I only kept it on the fire for about I would say two minutes maybe three minutes just to get it warm enough so I knew it was roughly around 60 70 degrees one thing you also want to do is to actually just kind of spill a little bit of the water with the iodine on like the top and the cap anywhere you're going to want to put your mouth you're just going to kind of want to sterilize it and then you use these, basically, these little tiny neutralizing tablets. I think it's like vitamin C and something else. And, um, you know, you take one of them. And then, remember, you don't put the iodine in and then put the neutralizing tablet. you got to wait 30 minutes at minimum. Um, usually what I'll do is I put the iodine tablets in, and I won't put the neutralizing tablet in until I need it. So sometimes I leave it sit for a couple hours. Now, I've taken the label off the bottle just to show you what happens when you shake it up. You don't even have to wait more than two minutes. The pellet doesn't even have to dissolve. You give it a shake and that yellow color completely disappears along with the odor and the taste. And at this point, unless you're some kind of wine connoisseur, that water's gonna taste like any water out of any faucet or bottled water that you're gonna buy at any store. So give it a shot and uh, you know, post a comment, send me an email, let me know what you think.